Hey everybody, Paul Hickey here with NoOffSeason.com. I am the host of the Sports Card Strategy Show, and on this video I am going to be taking questions from the audience mailbag at our Facebook group, and to ask a question, go to SportsCardStrategy.com and become a member by clicking on the Facebook group link. I will let you in, and I would be happy to have you as part of the community. Today's question is from Sam Cox, and uh, he's talking about the difference between on-card autographed cards and sticker autos. And his question is, if the sticker auto card is numbered and the on-card auto was not serial numbered at all, which would you prefer to invest in and why? And I think this is a great question by Sam. Really, the answer is uh, dependent upon many factors, and I put that in my initial answer in the Facebook group. And again, you can go to sportscardstrategy.com and click on the link to join the Facebook group, and you can see this. But um, I think it's based on several factors. I think it's based on timing, uh, who the player is, and um, what year the card's from. Is it a rookie card? Uh, what brand of the card. And so I give an example of, say, Matthew Stafford versus Joe Montana. Uh, Joe Montana is not going to have any sticker autos in his vintage cards. Uh, he might have sticker autos in more recent sets. Uh, but if you're looking at, like, a 1990 Joe Montana card, it's going to be an on-card auto. It's going to be PSA DNA certified um, versus a Matthew Stafford's auto, say, from 2014. It's probably a good chance it's going to be a sticker and they may be comparable in pricing. Um, and uh, the Matthew Stafford being numbered and a sticker I would rather have right now, um, being as he is the more relevant player. Um, but Sam is kind of kind of break it down for us a little bit further and say, um, what about Trey Young? So a Trey Young rookie card, his rookie year was 2018, 2019. And he's asking about a uh, Trey Young rookie card with a sticker auto uh, numbered out of 99 or an on-card auto. Um, now, if I had to pick between the two, I would generally say I would prefer an on-card auto. Um, but let's break this down. So Trey Young, uh, it's going to be dependent upon year. So in 2018, 2019, it looks like there were more on-card autos signed by players than uh, sticker autos just by the eyeball test. Like, I don't have any data that actually proves that, but if you think about the fact that, say, a 2020 rookie like LaMelo Ball, it's easier for him to sit around and sign stickers um, than it is to actually get the card made and in front of him. I think that we will probably start to see more and more sticker autos. Um, so a player like Trey Young, who was a rookie back in 2018, 2019, may be a better play to try and get some on-card autos. So, so typically, for like a LaMelo Ball or an Anthony Edwards, uh, you would only see on-card autos in the high-end releases like Flawless, Immaculate, and National Treasures. You might see them in some other releases, but you could see some on-card autos... Um, in uh, maybe some lower end releases for some guys uh, from the earlier years when the supply chain was uh, flowing a little bit better and you could get uh, cards already made in front of guys like Trey Young um, to sign. So back in 2018, 2019, it looks like Trey Young actually did have several on card autos. Um, there's a rookie roll call here. Um, that is an on-card auto. It is not numbered. Uh, let's go through some of these and then we'll we'll directly answer kind of Sam's question. So it looks like uh, even this contender's rookie ticket uh, appears to be an on-card auto. Um, a lot of contender's rookie tickets now are, are, are sticker autos. I think even John Morant's is a sticker auto uh, from 2019, a year after Trey. Here's Trey's Prism rookie auto. Uh, in Gem Mint, True Gem Mint, uh, Beckett 95. It's a sticker auto. Um, it's I think it's actually low priced at $1,050, and you can make an offer on that one. Um, but like, there's a, actually a lot of Trey Young on card 
numbered autos, which is the ideal. So, I mean, it's Sam and everybody already knows that the ideal situation is to get an on-card numbered auto, but um, we're talking about if, if you can't, then um, I would get a, uh, you know, an on-card non-numbered auto, and then my third choice would be a sticker auto numbered. Um, but, I mean, it's going to also de be dependent upon the price because I think you need to leave room in your pricing for future profits. Um, you need to leave leave room for you to make money on cards and not overspend just because it might be an on-card auto. So I think what Sam might have uh, brought up here is actually a potential arbitrage, especially with a guy like Trey Young, because first of all, we have a lot of affordable on-card numbered autos that are rookie cards that could be an arbitrage. Like this one still has five days left, but a nice Noir rookie patch auto numbered to 99 is still available for an affordable price, um, one hundred and seventeen dollar bid. Um, here's a uh, on card numbered uh, to ninety nine, numbered one out of ninety nine rookie patch auto out of immaculate with nineteen hours left, and it's fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, here's a twelve hundred dollar buy it now on card auto numbered out of forty nine rookie patch auto cornerstones. Um, here's a immaculate auto buy it now or best offer uh, 1750 on card numbered out of 49 now um, this is an on card rookie patch auto from opulence numbered out of 79 uh, sixteen hundred dollars these are all pretty affordable for a guy like Trey Young now here's where it gets interesting though because uh, it's going to be obviously like a huge risk to spend a thousand to two thousand dollars on a Trey Young rookie auto, but uh, Select is a set. Now this is one. Um, this is obviously a sticker auto. It hasn't um, really been photographed well because it's got this um, blue tape over it. Um, my guess is that somebody bought this. Uh, and shipped it to their PWCC vault and is posting a picture from a PWCC vault because PWCC does not take the blue tape off the card, and I know this from experience. Um, so uh, there's one day left in this, and uh, it's still under $100. There's been 13 bids. It's still under $100. So um, we're going to come back to this card. Now... Here's another one that Sam was talking about. It's a numbered um, sticker auto uh, out of Don Russ, and it's available for $600 buy it now or best offer. So we're going to come back to this one. Um, and then here's another one that fits kind of Sam's question. So this is an on card auto, uh, rookie auto out of Panini Revolution set. And uh, you can buy it now for $540 or best offer. Now, here's an on-card auto out of, uh, it's a Mosaic Auto. Uh, mosaic Silver Prism on-card auto for $743 or best offer. So we're going to come back to this one. Um, here's an Origins on-card auto for $1,500, and it's not numbered. Um, and then here's a num uh, here's a Panini Dominion on card auto. It's actually numbered five out of one ninety nine for five hundred and twenty five dollars. Now the rest of these are not rookie autos, so I'm gonna uh, point them out, but um, x them out here. So there could be a play made for a non rookie auto of a guy like like Trey Young. Uh, I think Ja Morant, Luca probably fall into the category as well of being guys that are like super collected and popular in the hobby uh, where you could buy their rookie, uh, excuse me, you could buy their on card numbered non rookie auto and, and flip it as a nice investment. So this particular um, Trey Young is more affordable. It's a 2020, 2021 out of flawless, more affordable, more achievable than a rookie auto. Um, Another example is this non-rookie. It's a Trey Young second year, and it's dual signed Trey and Vince Carter, numbered out of twenty-five from Immaculate. Uh, buy it now for a thousand and thirty dollars. 
Here's a Trey Young 2020, 2021 flawless, uh, 17 hours left, bid uh, $300 um, on card auto out of flawless, but it's his third year card. Um, here's another rookie auto on card, not numbered, one day left, $325 bid. Uh, we'll come back to that one. And then here's a Trey Young third year card uh, numbered. Uh, on card auto out of Immaculate, $1,600. I would not buy that one. That's too high for a non rookie. And then same thing here out of National Treasures. Too high for a non rookie. Uh, $1,750 is just too high. You can make an offer. But let's, let's go back now and just kind of put a bow on this. So, as a sports card investor, do I want to spend my money on a numbered sticker auto? The select is not numbered. Uh, here it, it is numbered. It's numbered out of 199. Perfect. So, as a sports card investor, do I want to spend my money on a numbered sticker auto? Um, like this select or Don Russ? Or a non numbered on card auto like the Revolution? The Mosaic? Or the origins. Now, it's going to depend on price now, um, which, which again, I think it comes down to player and price. So players equal. Now, price. The origins. This is just too high for me. I mean, um, origins is not a high end enough release to justify spending fifteen hundred dollars. I think the seller is big time uh, listing this way too high and hoping that they can get offers uh, for maybe half of this. Uh, that's my guess. It's just, it's it's listed too high. So if we come back to now saying, do I want an on-card auto for $743 or $540 or a numbered sticker auto for 600 or a numbered sticker auto for 60 potentially. My answer is is pretty much always going to be based on price when all things are equal like this. So sticker auto, sticker auto. I think the best buys in order here <laughs> are uh, this select numbered sticker auto because it's projects to be so much cheaper than the rest of them. Um, now if I'm picking between this sticker auto out of Don Russ numbered to 99 or this um, on card auto out of mosaic, not numbered. I'm going to take the on card auto. Um, it's just a better looking card. It's a better brand. It's an on card auto. Uh, I'd pay a little bit more for that. Like I said, I think the origin's too high for the on card auto. So I think the on card auto, uh, silver prism. Uh, rookie card would be my, you know, non-numbered, even though it's not numbered, that would be my choice. And then um, my other choice, I'm going to, I'm going to pick two here is going to be to bid on this uh, select numbered to 99 um, sticker RPA for Trey Young. Um, and just making sure multiple times that it is a rookie card. Uh, it's player worn, which is actually pretty cool. It's not game worn, but it's player worn. 2018, 2019 is a rookie and it's listed as a rookie. So that looks legit. So again, if I'm picking between a sticker auto and an on card auto, I'm ruling out based on price. The Don Russ sticker is just too high because I can get an on card Panini Revolution for 540. So I'm picking the Panini Revolution for 540 over the uh, you know which is an on card non numbered over the Don Russ numbered. That's choice number one. Choice number two is I'm picking the uh, Mosaic Auto Silver Prism Rookie over any other sticker sticker numbered auto. I'm ruling out the Origins because the price is too high, even though it's an on card auto. And then um, I'm definitely looking at getting, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely buying this uh, 
numbered on-card rookie patch auto out of Dominion because that's an amazing deal. And then I am also uh, bidding on the uh, select uh, sticker auto that I showed you a minute ago um, for $61, which I think is an absolute steal. This one right here. Uh, it'll probably go for maybe around 100 but I think that's a steal. I think uh, the opulence is out of my budget. I wouldn't buy it. Wouldn't wouldn't uh, suggest that you guys buy it. Would suggest that you guys buy this numbered on-card rookie patch. This is kind of best of all worlds for Sam's question. Um, and then uh, this sticker auto for select. And then uh, again the mosaic prism silver on-card auto that was not numbered. And uh, those would be my purchases. Um, everything else here, just kind of taking them one by one. I think that the Don Russ next day auto for three thirty is a good deal with the on card, uh, not numbered. I think that it's a good deal. I just don't love the card, and I don't know that the card will resell for that much more unless Trey Young really, really um, does something spectacular in the NBA playoffs sometime soon. So I'm thinking that uh, the best, by far the best two buys here are are the Select Sticker Auto and the uh, actually Best of Both Worlds, Best of All Worlds, Rookie Patch Auto on card numbered to 199 Panini Dominion. Um, Sam, great question. Really appreciate it. For those of you who want to get in on the Facebook group, again, go to sportscardstrategy.com and click the link to join the Facebook group. I'd love to see you there. And I'm Paul Hickey with nooffseason.com. Thanks for watching today. Uh, today's video is brought to you by marketmoversapp.com by Sports Card Investor. Go there and use the promo code nooffseason, all lowercase, to save 20% at marketmoversapp.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a great day.